It's been a long time. For those of you not uh, aware, there is a Binding of Isaac Repentance co-op mod that is currently in beta. So you can actually do online gameplay through Isaac, no longer through like Steam remote play. I'm eager to check it out once it gets a little bit more stable. But if we're going to do that, before we do that, we got to, you know, reacclimate ourselves to how to play Isaac to begin with. So let's do it. You know what? I always respected this about Isaac. They put a tutorial right there on the very start. Now, you know what? It's a good opportunity as well for us to learn something, um, for us to break some bad habits that I've probably built up over like 12 years of playing Isaac. Is there a place I can put a bomb here in order to actually get to the chest? With one bomb. Or do you need two bombs? You need two bombs. Okay, well don't worry, I haven't forgotten about this little piece of technology right here. I was hoping there would be some spirit hearts. I was going to go play the self-sacrifice room. Technology right off the bat. Feels good. You know what's insane too? There's probably... I'm going to say 30,000 people on Earth who, once I stopped playing Isaac, just said, like, I'm not going to watch anything else, but I'm going to stay subscribed. When they see this video and they click on it, they're, it's going to be like on a roller coaster when you accelerate to 80 kilometers an hour in like 1.2 seconds. It's going to be like the first time uh, you were ever a passenger in a Tesla Model 3 Uber. Like, you're, you're going to be like, what's going on? What does gat mean? Do you, would you stick out your gat for the Quizzler? What does this mean? Who's the librarian? Uh, what, what's a, does NL actually have a gas leak inside of his house? Why is he so skinny now? Last time I saw him, he was a little bit soft. He was looking a little bit round. What happened? Is he okay? Well, he wasn't for a while, but now he is. What is a Peloton? They're going to spell it like P-I-L-O-T-T-O-E-N. You know, it's going to be a, it's going to be a new world. That is a luck upgrade. If I remember correctly, that is a lot. I have none keys. I think this is a reroll. That's an HP upgrade. Okay, I, I remember how to play this game. Don't get it twisted. See, you know, it's just like riding a bike. You never lose it. Who is Hot Boy Toke? I hope Hot Boy Toke is here, by the way, because. I mean, I called it yesterday. Did I call it or did I not call it? I said Jacksonville Jaguars are scoring 31 points Monday Night Football tonight. I did say that they were going to beat um, the Bengals 31 to 10. And instead, they lost 34 to 31. But I got their number of points perfect like it's not my fault that their defense was so porous dude doesn't know who jake browning is apollo you should be proud of me by the way i did a sporkle quiz yesterday this would not have happened uh even just a few months ago it wouldn't have happened hang on i gotta go check what my my next potential reward is I did a Sporkle quiz of all the NFL quarterbacks for each team on the starting day and uh, like opening day of the season. I got 16 out of 32 right. And then there were a couple where I was like, I probably should have gotten that right. But knowing half of the NFL starting quarterbacks is, that's a step up for me, for, for the guy who's still referencing like Ladanian Tomlinson 10 years after he why probably like 15 years after he retired oh now we're cooking that's cool man the other half got injured anyway they show oh, you i okay i'm quitting again um they should chill with the injuries in the nfl imo there's too many too many injuries in the nfl these days Please don't do this. Don't do what? Don't take pills. 
They should, yeah, turn down the injury slider. You got it on, like, realistic right now. Put it on arcade, bro. What is, I'm not going to... I'm, I'm an Isaac purist, I think, because I'm lazy. I'm not going the alt path. Wow, sips is 10 stands. What does this mean? Wow, sips is 10 stands. Is this wow like you're exclaiming? Like, I'm surprised sips is 10... We'll get to the rest of the sentence in a second. Or are you saying World of Warcraft sips is 10 stands? Now, secondarily, what does 10 stands mean? Because you spelled it like the content creator stands. Nathaniel. But what does that mean? Sip, wow, sips is 10 stands. Nobody knows. Okay, nobody knows. Fair enough. You know, I think in Isaac, you could sneak a little laser beam in here. You used to be able to sneak a little laser beam in there. Um, I kind of like bird's eye. I mean, it's a three-star item, so how could I not? Did you really defend boomers for the first 20 minutes of the stream? Uh, yes. But all the takeaway at the end of it was that on an individual level, I think we should be nicer to our elders. Keep in mind that our anchor point as millennials and Gen Z on the internet is rude as hell. Like, I'm not saying like we're, we're coming from a position of already being polite. Let's be even politer. I think we're coming from a position of like, fairly like malevolent hatred and we should back it off a little bit i think it's a bad look that's my take on the subject i think it i think it's it's an extension of touch grass i suppose at the end of the day can you move camera to bottom left is that where we normally put? I can't remember. We did normally cover up Trinket, but it's been so long since I played, I don't remember where the Trinket goes. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. I'm not ready to die. This isn't how I go. Can we be rude to our youngers? Um, well, that's what the boomers did, which is why they have no alliances left on Earth, because when millennials were like 24, there were like endless articles about how we're like ruining society. But like, I'm, I'm trying to break the cycle, you know? I'm trying to break the cycle of generational hatred. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, okay. <laughs> Hang on, bro, they're going too fast. It's tears down pill, I'm never gonna recover from this. Nice try. Keep in mind, if you haven't seen Isaac in 22 years, um, champion enemies, which are the enemies that do not look default, they do one full heart of damage. So we've we basically been on lethal this whole floor. And it feels good to be back, man. It feels good to be back. Also, in hard mode, they never drop uh, items anymore or consumables. So get ready for that. <clears throat> I do hate on millennials more than any other generation, but I also feel like that's the natural order of things. You should be able to hate on your own generation more than any other generation because you know it better than anybody else. I'm chilling. I'm not even worried about that devil deal. Whoa, did you see that little stutter step? Take some damage up, and then I am leaving. Yep, yep, I'm leaving. He's still got the moves. We're moving different down here. And here's the thing, I, I see that the one thing that annoys me about millennials is that they um, are constantly complaining about how boomers and Gen Z both make fun of them. But then I will admit, it's funny to see the cycle continue. Like, have you seen those first few videos uh, trickle out of Gen Z hating on Gen Alpha because the kids are all in the skibbity toilet and all the Gen Z kids who grew up watching The Good Place are like, this skibbity toilet stuff doesn't make sense to me.
Gen Alpha is literally two years old. I know, that's why I was surprised to see it so fast, bro. It really do be your own. You pop out of the womb, you already got haters these days. Like, the internet is, it's, it's warped our minds. Okay, sorry, I, was, I forgot I was a, a left eye shooter here. I don't want to go off on a rant here, but does anyone else think that Skibbity Toilet is just Five Nights at Freddy's too? Messed up part? Matthew Lillard's going to star in the Skibbity Toilet movie. He's going to play cameraman. Skibbity Toilet will be played by Timothy Chalamet Jr. By the way, we are in the, the nightmare zone for Wonka reviews. I don't know if you saw... Wonka, ooh, hang on, must be charged by picking up soul hearts, then spawns things, spawns things. I like the idea. Wonka is sitting at a 67 on Metacritic. This is the worst possible uh, score for this movie to have. It needed to either be in the 90s for me to have any chance to get over my aversion to the original trailer. What did I step on, bro? Or it needed to be at a, like, a, a six out of a hundred so that I could actually enjoy it. Sure, why not? I, I don't mind, like, never shooting a tear. Eighty-two percent on Rotten Tomatoes. Oh, good, so it's up there with movies such as Iron Man 3. Iron Man 3 was good? Yeah, it was not that good. It's no May-December, let's put it that way. There's no scene in Iron Man 3 where Iron Man's son has to light a joint for him because he never got to experience like a normal uh, teenage existence as a result of being put in the express lane to adulthood by a child predator. We take cube of me for sure. May I? May I? That doesn't explode, huh? Why am I getting question marks for describing the plot of a movie? <laughs> Oddly enough, that scene is in Wonka. No, no, no. The millennials are giving me the question marks for the, the Isaac mistake. But Gen Z is going, um, excuse me, isn't that problematic? Yeah, that's the point of the movie, bro. She's a bad person. I did indeed know, this has been a curse for like my whole life. May, December is a fictional movie based on a real experience where a teacher, a, a female teacher in the United States by the name of Mary Kay Letourneau, um, had a child with her 13-year-old student. Now, almost nobody on Earth has my last name. There's like... I don't know. I, you very rarely meet people like that. That being said, for my entire life, as a result of this, because this happened, and there's no relation, by the way, but um, because this happened in like 1992, Myself and my parents would always be asked whenever we told people our last name. We'd be like, any relation to like the child predator? And we'd be like, no, it's just like the worst coincidence of all time. Um, what did I do with... What did I do with Satanic Bible, by the way? Sorry, I entered a, a fugue state temporarily. So then... You re-rolled it. That sounds like me. Let's keep this. Um... That lasted like 12 years because news used to sort of hang in the air like a, like a wet fart. And then that was almost even worse because then sometimes would be like... Someone would meet me. Like this actually happened on the Disney cruise. 
someone was like, I heard your last name is Letourneau. Any relation to like random person who lives in Duluth? And I was like, no, but I do appreciate the um, being asked that instead of being asked if I have relation to Mary Kay Letourneau. And then the dude said, who's that? So now I'm the insane person that out of nowhere is like explaining this story to this nice guy who just asked me like if I know someone from his town of eight people, right? So like it was it's been a curse in both directions. But it's not the end of the world either way. It's just, you know, it's mildly annoying at the end of the day. Okay, good. I, I forgot you never take pills in this game. Couldn't have just named me LaCroix or something, right? <laughs> of the Sparkling Water Guild? I wasn't looking at the screen, I'll be honest with you. LaCroix is literally my last name. It's so funny to be named the same as a water. Aquafina... Sure, why not? Can you imagine meeting someone named like, you know, Guinevere Evian or something like that? You would be like, you're rich. They'd be like, no, I'm not. You'd be like, Bill Dasani. Fitzgerald, Liquid Death, like, they're all funny. I can't believe I didn't get hit. You're kind of gaming right now? I think I'm doing a reasonably good job considering I haven't played the game in a long time. And uh, we got a tears downgrade. Like that's kind of a, actually technically two tears downgrades, but one of them came with a positive. We've had so many bad pills. That one had to be good. Can you rank last names? My name is Pollard. That's a good one. I mean, honestly, like, Guided by Voices kind of carries. You sh if it wasn't for Bob Pollard from Guided by Voices, I'd probably be saying, you know, that's like a C-tier last name, but I put you in the B-plus as a result. Proud of you for playing new games. Here's the thing, people joke, but there's some thrill to be found in, like, going back to Isaac, which we know is a... As much as I hate to say it, it's a 10 out of 10 roguelite. Instead of like, hey, check it out, new roguelite came out that's going to be like a six and a half. Like, you know, just from looking at it, right? <laughs> no, it's not. Astria is a good game. It's just too much for me. Also, nobody enjoyed, well, only DL Guiga enjoyed watching it. And even then, it's kind of like a misnomer. Because he says he enjoyed watching it, but he acted uh, angry in chat the whole time. I don't really like backpack. I'm not really like a backpack guy. I could use some potato peeler. It doesn't really bother me. Is DL Guiga a type A viewer? Mm, I don't know. I, I think like most people, they kind of straddle the line. Like lots of type B viewers became type A viewers when I was shooting blood bombs at a, uh, at a rock trying to make it explode. Like I think it's more, I, like all human beings are made from like the same stardust, right? At the end of the day. So... There's, I, I don't think of it necessarily that there's like a definitive type A and type B. I think everybody has different thresholds for being type A or type B. Like when we're playing Lethal Company, if you're a type A viewer and you're like, you got to put your screw on the A, hey, go, you, you can actually double count your uh, goods in this area to get twice as much profit. And then you could buy a reverse teleport. I'm like, well, you're just honestly, I don't think we would get along. I'm glad that you're enjoying the content, but that's just... You wouldn't catch me doing that. Let's just put it that way. At the same time, if you're a, a type B viewer, 
when we're playing a Zachtronics game? Well, I mean, it's kind of the inverse. I very much appreciate the dopamine in chat, but... How about a little bit of this? A little bit of that? You just turn into spiders when I blow you up. Okay, I'm gonna blow you up. I guess I should have stood next to that now that I think about it. I mean, we're, we're getting back to it. It's been a bit. No? Is that not how that works? I thought blood bombs heal us. That's pyromaniac. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> It's chilling down here. Get re rolled. Ooh! I honestly thought the same thing. That's brave of you to admit. I appreciate that. We're maniac. Hold the pyro. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. I'm gonna be honest with you, brother. I'm not really rich on HP right now. We skip this. How does it feel to be back in the saddle? Um, it feels like being gaslit. Because everybody's like, whoa, it's a special day he's playing Isaac. And for me, I'm like, it just feels like any other Tuesday. I'm answering the same questions. Every once in a while, someone pops in a chat for the first time ever and says, when will you return to Terraria? I don't respond to the comment. They write it uh, again. I say, surely this is not going to go on for five hours. And then I'm right. It goes on for five hours, and then they're back tomorrow. And then eventually I've got to say, I don't think I'm going back to Terraria. And then they start spewing some hate. They start saying, like, I, I miss the old you when you used to play Terraria. And I'm like, brother, I just... You don't understand, I just freed you. I freed you from whatever the curse was that had you posting about Terraria and chat nonstop, and now I'm the jerk. You said yesterday you'd never go back to Isaac, though? Yeah, but that was before, like, today. You probably said a bunch of fucked up shit when you were a baby that you went back on. You know, when you were 15, you were probably like, you'll never catch my ass eating that red lobster. Then all of a sudden, it's like all you can eat shrimp season, and you're like making reservations. And you're like, what? The earliest I can get a table for two is like 8.45 p.m. on a Wednesday? I thought everybody hated red lobster. Why the fuck is it so busy? People change, man. People change. You reserve at Red Lobster? Well, I haven't been to Red Lobster in literally, I would say, 14 years. Um, I, I would reserve if we were going for like a special occasion. If it was like someone's birthday and they were like, let's go to Red Lobster, I would make sure to get a reservation. If we were just out in a mid-sized American city, and then someone said, how about Red Lobster? Well, then you just walk in. But I feel like that's how you end up, you know, sitting at the bar at Red Lobster for like 45 minutes. Okay, we kill everything in one hit, but it takes us 20 minutes to shoot. I think that's a fair trade. A drink it. Plus two heart containers well held, as long as we're holding the box as well. You know what, let's just see what we get out of this. Useless, waste of my time, an insult to everything I stand for. Even worse, to be honest with you, BC has none red lobsters. Yeah, that makes sense. All of BC's demand for like mid-tier fast casual restaurants is soaked up by White Spot, I think. Even Swiss Chalet couldn't hack it here. And inexplicably, that's like a Canadian classic. Mom found a heart jar! I don't really care about Acer Clubs. 
And we do have a lot of sushi. Don't be mad, Chad. Someone else said it, not me. We do have a lot of sushi. You're not wrong. This dude needs more attack speed. Bros in Isaac chat asking for attack speed. He's saying you gotta buy the Blades of Alacrity. <laughs> you know what game we're talking about here, little bro? It's called uh, Tears. Attack speed. I can't. That being said, you are right. You're 100% right. Get smoked, kid. Hmm, I guess we will be going. I guess you got to walk in and walk out on the deal with the devil, right? In order to get credit for skipping it, which obviously we're not doing, but no, no? it's because of satanic Bible. I only use it on one floor, though. Not just on lucky. Cuba meat is a devil deal item. I forgot about how this game is played. Yeah. Yeah. So did Edmund. Kind of rude. I do think if there's a if there's a sin that happened in Isaac that that led to me playing it a lot less. And keep in mind like I played this shit for like 12 years straight or something, right? So that's like very, very few games aspire to that level of longevity, considering this single player only, especially. I think it was a combination of two things. In my opinion, they added too many items that compromised the balance. It compromised the fun of the game in order to like amp up the, the humor aspect, which was annoying. Like, there were too many items that were just like, they don't really give you a statistical improvement. All they do is like, mess with the way your character looks or the way your tears look or something like that. Just fine like one time, but then when you're playing the game for like a thousand hours, you're like, well, I'm kind of sick of this. And then the other one is, um... I just had way too many Eden runs in a row. And Eden is not like, you know, the only character in the game. But way too many Eden runs where like you start with no damage or no fire rate. And then combined with the item pool having too many meme items, like you're no longer guaranteed to get out of that hole with good play. And you're just like... What are we doing here? Like really? We're, we're starting an Eden run with like 0.25... Tears and none damage. I'm, I'm, it's taking me 20 minutes to make it through the first two floors, and then like the first devil deal is a, is a meme item. Like, what are we doing here, boys? But I'm having a good time on this one. Eden this Wemby. <clears throat> You sound like an AI NL video right now? No, I don't. You are compromised. You've spent too much time online. Your family is worried about you. Of course I sound like an AI NL video. They fucking sound like me, bro. <laughs> I'm not responsible for the creation of that drivel. I'm busy enough making my own drivel, you know? I'm not concerning myself with the whims of machines. It's like you're telling me, oh, uh, hey, Kira Knightley, you kind of look like Natalie Portman. Yeah, bro, that's why she got cast as Queen Amidala's body double in episode one. We're going to the left. It's our only option. Also... This curse annoys me. <laughs> I forgot about that. Just get out the graphing paper and... 
It is great to play Isaac, though. I f you forget about the power uh, of anti-backseating. A game where you have, like, literally 6,000 hours, and even if you play suboptimally, you can, like, easily win anyway. People will be like, hey, you know, if you use, like, this, 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 and then you get the D20 and you get Cursed Dice, you can actually create, like, infinite two of hearts cards. And then you can do this, this, and you're like, okay, yeah, well, maybe... If you need to do that, that's fine. But uh, me personally, I think I'm just going to win. It's probably why uh, Wayne Gretzky wasn't any good at coaching, right? People were like, hey, Wayne, uh, what do I do when the defender has their stick right next to me and I'm trying to get off a quick snapshot? He's like, well, pass it to, uh, pass it to Paul Coffey so he can rip one and score his seventh goal of the night. Because the goalie pads are like thinner than the goalie's legs somehow. You ever see a clip of the NHL? Well, the answer is probably going to be no. But um, for most people. You ever see a clip of the NHL circa like 1991? That's like within my lifespan. And it'll be like, check out this amazing goal Mario Lemieux scored. And the goalie doesn't even try to save it. Like the goalie is eight feet out from the net. And just standing six foot three straight up. Like making no effort to get down in the butterfly or anything. And then like Mario Lemieux just shoots. And then the goalie tries to kick the puck. And you're like, what are you doing, bro? You do, you're not in butterfly you got no fundamentals. Your pads are like made out of old phone books and stuff like that. Justin laughed. That's all I need. <laughs> and no wonder they were scoring goals like crazy. It's like Patrick Waugh was like the first goaltender that actually tried. Everybody else, it was just like, I, you know, you're just doing your best. No disrespect, Terry Sawchuk. I'm just saying. You know what I miss, though? I miss the goalies who wore um, the same helmet as the players. Nowadays, all the goalies have the, the Jocelyn Tebow. They've got the, like, triangular mask that looks super cool. I miss when you used to have some that were just wearing the Jofa. As it, you know, if your team's got their backup goalie in net and he's wearing a Jofa, you know your ass is letting in, like, seven goals. But if it's 2000, 2001, you might score eight. I forgot that this enemy existed. being honest it's crazy that all this like Isaac strategy still exists in my brain even though I didn't shoot <laughs> at all in the oh tears upgrade 0.05 fire rate increase we're back the hell is this I I know what that is and I don't want it but I want this yes I do people yes I do holy it's ass Maybe it's not that bad. Hey, NL, did your poke stops get way... Sorry, what'd you say? Did your poke stops get way what? Hey, NL, did your poke stops... I want this. No, no, no. I'm waiting for the real answer. Way worse. Um, I don't know why I was waiting for the real question. Because I haven't played Pokemon Go in a long time. It's probably been... I opened the app to check a Pokemon on my phone for Pokedoku once. Or to see like what my highest DPS grass type Pokemon was. And that was the only time I've opened it in like maybe two and a half months. Just a lot less time outside during the, the rainy season. That's why he doesn't open my gifts. I'll be back in the springtime. Fine, fine, I'll do it. Don't you worry, I'll be back in the springtime. I'm not going to take a tears down for no reason, but I'll...
All right, this is substantially worse. <laughs> also, I have Stompy. Hmm. Secret room? Wait, doesn't the six rerolls all consumables on the whole floor, right? I think we're still gonna win. I don't even think this is a. It's, this shit ain't nothing to me, man. I pushed a camel through the eye of a needle. Huge. Health up. He's Morgan Freeman. JPEG. He's right, you know. I crashed my car into a bridge. Are you okay? People are saying, the streets are saying you don't care. The streets are saying you just won the IDGAF championship. It's giving truth, so true. I think. <laughs> I don't really care, do you? Oh man. I forgot about that. Shirts you shouldn't wear when you're married to the president. I'm winning the IDGAF Olympics right now. It was a jacket? Okay, that's true. It was a jacket. He is ignoring the Dracula Flow 4 comments. Yes. I was hoping uh, they would stop. Because it's been six days. Um, I was hoping that eventually that would be enough. But... You would think after enough time doing this, I would know that that's not how this works. <laughs> and that's okay. I really, and I don't know if Justin's still here. I'm not trying to shit talk anybody, or at least anybody in particular. What the hell is this? Money for nothing? And no chicks for free? Make it make sense, Joe Biden. Um, no, 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 I'm not shit talking Justin. Quite the opposite. I like to say this stuff to Justin because then he laughs and goes, true. Normally we have to talk about this stuff in the back channel. I can't imagine being the type of person that types the same thing in chat three times. I can imagine typing it once and then like still thinking it's important and then being like, I'm gonna type it again because they must have missed it. But if they didn't see it the second time, you would not catch me typing it a third time. That's just like, it's embarrassing. If you're not embarrassed by it, you're built different and I'm a little jealous. But the third time, oh man, that's like, <laughs> I think of it the same way. Like, you know, if you're like texting somebody, if you text them something and then like a day later, they don't text you back, you can text one more thing. But if they don't reply after that, the onus is on them to, to respond. You can't. You can't be sending like three unresponded to texts over three days. It's just too much. You gotta wait for them to reinitiate the conversation. The triple text ratio. You can't triple stamp a double stamp. It's not too much. I think it's too much. Me personally, I think it's too much. You do you, I think it's too much. I'm not going down to the void. I, uh, I like to have fun when I play this game. I'm a little different than your average gamer. Plus two is an exception, sure. But like, if I went into Dan's chat and I said like, hey, you've got to see this video. 
I could definitely catch myself typing it twice. But if I, at some point you got to assume that the lad has read it and he has opted to not respond to it. And that's his right as the streamer. He's got other things going on. You know, he's got stuff that he wants to talk about too. It's not request hour. I don't really like rocket bombs. Confirm the loves twice. Um, I I don't get the bands confused. I get the songs confused. What it, like if you gave me a quiz that was like what song is by Twice and what song is by Blackpink? I think I would get a lot wrong. Blackpink sings "We Are the Lovesick Girls." Is that correct? And Twice sings "I've Got the Feels for You." Yes. Who sings Ice Cream? Ice Cream is by Blackpink. That's Black... Okay, so I'm, st I'm, I'm three for three so far. Who sings TT? That might not even be either of Blackpink or Twice. That's twice. Okay. See, I I would have I I would say that it's not Blackpink. That would have been my guess because it wasn't on DL Guiga's 30-minute uh, Blackpink ride that we did like a month and a half ago. Easiest run of my life. I didn't even use Soul of Azazel. I I carried it all the way to the end. <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> Do you want to slash Mark? We we'll call it Isaac One. <laughs> 